In this video, I want to talk about date calculation in FileMaker. Why? Because most business use date information in their operation one way or another, such as due date or product shipping date. And in this video, I'm going to cover three things. First, we're going to talk about some basics of date calculation. And second, I'm going to introduce to you to one of the most important date function in FileMaker. Lastly, we're going to cover three common business examples to make use of the function that I will be introducing. Coming up. Let's talk about date calculation basics. At the time of the making of this video, the date is 17th of April 2018. But did you know that inside of FileMaker database, today is actually 736801? Well, that's because in the back end of a database, a date is simply a number starting at the 1st of January in the year 0000. And counting all the way to now, 17th of April 2018, which leads us to this number. And since date is just a number, we can manipulate it by adding and subtracting on top of it. For example, since today is the 17th of April 2018, if we add the number 2 on top of it, it will become 19th of April 2018. Or if you take this number now and minus it by 365, then it will become 19th of April 2017. The core thing to take away is, you can add or subtract on top of a date to change its value. Now that we covered the basics, let's move on to number 2, the most important date function in FileMaker. Now when I say it's the most important, I'm sure that 90% of all FileMaker developers will agree with me on this one. And the function is get current date. When we use get current date inside the FileMaker calculation, it will give us the date value of today. So when I use it today, it will show me 17th of April. The reason why get current date is so important is because getting the dates of today allows you to compare it to your existing date data and get a much better insight. I'll explain this further in the next part, the three examples. Before I start, here's some context of this example file I'll be using. In here, I have a database with a list of tasks, and each task within it has their own name and their due date. I also have three other calculation fields set up so that we will be using this for our three different examples. Let's start with our first example. We're going to turn the due date into a number. What I mean is, when we look into this database, we see a lot of date values lying all over the place. And it is quite difficult for me to just look at the task and then understand immediately the urgency behind each task. It will be better if we can just change the due date to a number that shows us how many days until this task is due. That way, it will be more intuitive for us to look at it. And for now, let's call this calculation days until due. Before I show you how to do it in a calculation, let's clarify what we're trying to do in here. This is our timeline. Our due date is here, and this is today. In order to get the days until due value, we want to measure how far the gap is between today and the task due date. So let's say today is the 17th of April, and the due date is on the 21st of April. To find out the value between the gaps, we want to minus the task due date with today's date. So in a FileMaker calculation, it will look something like this. And now, Let's save this calculation and have a look into our list layout again. As you can see, instead of only showing a due date, we can now see exactly how many days until a task is due, which is much more intuitive for a normal user to look at. Moving on to the second example. The next step, I want to show a warning text next to the task that is due. And for the tasks that are not due, I want to show it as save. And again, let's start with the clarifying the concept. First, I want to check for the condition to see if my task is due or not. And if the answer is yes, I want it to show warning. Otherwise, if the answer is no, then I want to show it as safe. In order to do this, we need to achieve two things in our calculation. One, a formula to check for the conditions. And two, a function to give us the corresponding text result based on our condition check. Let's start with the condition check. Here's the calculation we used earlier, due date minus get current date. And if you look at our timeline example right now, for each passing day, 
the result will get closer to zero until it reaches the due date and then the result will become zero and when the day continue to pass it will start to have a negative number because of how the formula works so the condition that we are trying to set in this scenario is if the result of due date minus get current date is smaller than or equals to zero then the task is due if we were to translate this logic into a calculation in FileMaker, the condition will look something like this. Now that we cover how to write the condition calculation, let's move on to the next part. The calculation function that gives us different text based on the condition. To do this in FileMaker, we will need to use the if function. There are three parameters in the if function. The first parameter is where you put your condition calculation into. The second parameter is the result that you want to show if the condition is true. The third parameter is the result you want to show if the condition is not true. To relate this back to our diagram, we want to check for the condition to see if due date minus get current date is smaller than or equals to zero. And if this is true, we want to show the warning sign. Or if this condition is not true, we want to show the save sign. To put this logic back into the if function, it will look something like this. So let's save this and go back to our example layout. We now have a new calculation field that shows us if the task is due or not, with just two possible status. One, the warning. Two, save. Which is very easy for people to immediately know if a particular task needs attention. Now, on to the third example. This time, instead of warning me when the task is due, I want to be more proactive and have more time to prepare for it. I want to show the warning 3 days before our task is due, so that I don't need to be so rushed in everything. Conceptually, it works like this. On our last example, the warning sign shows up when the date is bigger than or equal to the due date. But this time, we want the warning to trigger 3 days in advance. We can do this by adding a buffer block just before our deadline 3 days before. To represent this 3 days buffer block in a formula, we need to change our calculation into something like this. Due date minus get current date minus 3 is smaller than or equals to 0. So now, let's save this calculation and go back to our original layout. We now have a calculation that will show us 3 days in advance if a task is going to be due. And this will make preparing for that task much more easier because we got more time to do it. And that's it for the three example of how you could use get current date to improve your layout. To recap, we talked about the basics of date calculation and how it is actually a number that you can add or subtract with. And then we learned about the get current date function, which is one of the most important date function calculation in FileMaker. And thirdly, We've gone through three common examples of how you can use get current date, which includes getting the due date, showing a warning for due task, and also showing the same warning three days before a task is due. And throughout the process, you also learn a little bit about how to use the if function to get a conditional statement. All under nine minutes.